This is um, a voxel game that runs fully on chain. It, it really is a from scratch kind of thing. Um, so the first thing that is interesting is this world um, is procedurally generated, right? So you can see there are biomes here. I'm, I'm in a forest, um, there are trees. Um, if I go this way, there are mountains. Um, the world is infinite. Like pretty excited to show OPCraft to everybody. It's a 3D voxel game, powered by mud, running on a crazy degenerate OP chain. Now we have a beautiful infinitely generated terrain with uh, flowers and plants and ores and valleys and rivers. Craft them, put them on the floor, um, go explore the world. There are oceans, mountains, hills, rivers. Um, you should be able to see your friends. Uh, see some people here that are very confused. Um, the internet is also very slow, so people are kind of glitching around, but it works. So I think this was one of the biggest announcements over the last 24 hours uh, out of Lattice here. So I did talk about this yesterday a little bit about this uh, OP stack that Optimism brought out and also uh, around gaming and how I believe that the next era of crypto gaming isn't just going to be slapping NFTs on, uh, on, on games. It's going to be building what's called autonomous worlds and fully on-chain games. The cool thing about this game is that it exists entirely on a blockchain called uh, Optimism Bedrock and that is so mind-blowing. If it was like this, owned by the community, then spread a billion between a thousand people, 500 people that built it, or the tens of thousands of people that are playing it. It's just so cool to see a kind of world where gamers get to keep the value that they create. And you know, they get to create these crazy connected worlds. It is now technically possible. Greetings, Spawnbrins. As you may have already seen, the chunks around the spawn have been claimed by me the supreme leader of our craft. And the other one right here. Unfortunately, the chunks of this temple were claimed by someone with a lot of diamonds, <laughs> but yeah, the other one is still in my possession, so to say. This this walkway right here has changed quite a bit as well. Alvarius came by and paid a visit, which was pretty cool. He uh, made a screenshot of the temple with an unobstructed view, 